And there was a new tree in Daly Plaza honoring 2,000 victims of Chicago violence. The families of those victims coming out in force to see it lit, but it was only up for a little while. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza was there for today's ceremony. Sabrina, what happened? Hey Dana, well this tree will be up tomorrow again until January 1st. We just spoke with the artist who told us that it wasn't entirely secure, so they took it down for just a few hours, especially because there's so much foot traffic here along the Chris Kinlan market on this busy Saturday night. Now I want to show you video of what the tree did look like when it was up, and you will see there are some spots or stickers around the tree. Each like an ornament with a name of someone lost in Chicago during some sort of violence or impacted by violence in some way. The families of those victims, they came by to search for their loved one's name on that tree. Anyone who registered beforehand and we're told there were about 500 families who did so should eventually have their sticker put up on that tree. Now, each family member also received a sweatshirt personalized with their loved one's name on it. We spoke with a few of them all saying that being surrounded by so many people with similar experiences having lost a loved one in Chicago to gun violence in many cases felt conflicting. They said a mixture of comfort and sadness against so many people who suffered that same type of loss. And never forget Chicago is the organization that put this tree together. They were founded to make sure that the people who are listed on that tree are never forgotten or become a figure in a statistic, especially during the holiday season interrupting the cycle of going on to the next name, the next name, the next name, without stopping to pause and realize, no, we're losing real human beings. We're, we're losing young men and women. We're losing people, a part of our community and our fabric. And we're leaving behind broken communities and families. And that's the part that I wanted to interrupt. Dana, and as you mentioned, we did speak with many of the families who were here today, and you can hear some of our emotional conversations with them tonight on the CBS 2 News at 10. We're live at Daily Plaza. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Sabrina. I hope that tree goes back up.